Hello everyone, my name is Denise. This morning I'll be talking about the wealthy of our society. But before I do so, I'd like to explain to you some of the different ways that I hear from the Lord. And the reason I'll be doing this is because many times I hear prophets or prophetic people would come and they would say that I've heard from the Lord. And I myself would wonder, how did this person hear from the Lord? Was it through a dream, a vision? How did they hear? And so for this reason, I'll be explaining to you. Also to help anyone who may be interested in the prophetic and how it works. Okay, I hear from the Lord audibly, just as I'm speaking now and you can hear me. This is one of the ways that I hear from the Lord. I also hear through dreams and visions. There are also times when I'd have a download of information where I would know everything that happened as if I was there when the events took place. Okay, those are some of the ways that I hear from the Lord. As I've said, my title this morning, or I'll be talking about the wealthy of our society. On the 22nd of March, 2020, I heard and saw in the spiritual realm where pastors, self-claimed prophets and famous people of the world have lost their wealth and they were walking with their heads down in confusion and shame. Then on the 20th of October, 2020, the Lord said the table is turning and the wealthy will lose their wealth. So on the 20th of October, 2020, the Lord said the table is turning and the wealthy will lose their wealth. Then again on the 31st of October, 2020, the Lord said there will be a wealth transfer. So there will be a wealth transfer. There will be a transfer of wealth from the wealthy to the poor. He said they will be losing their wealth and comfort. This will take place all around the world because the people have put their wealth before him. They have forgotten him and they have refused to change. I remember doing a video that I titled God's Wrath on China and the World. And in that video, I saw women representing the different countries of the world in their traditional clothing. And they were giving honour and accolade to the different countries of the world and their successes and regarding their successes. And I cried because in the vision I cried saying that they have not honoured God. They claim it's because of their hard work, why they are successful, why they are wealthy. They believe that they have done it themselves. The scripture says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all other things shall be added unto you but they have put their wealth before him. He will be removing whatever it is that they are trusting and serving as their gods. I will read that again. But they have put their wealth before him and he will be removing whatever it is that they are trusting in and serving as their gods. They have refused to turn from their evil ways. But it says in Proverbs 13 verse 18, 
poverty and shame shall be to him that refuseth instruction. But he that regardeth reproof shall be honoured. So God will be removing the wealth of many people of this world. There is no boundaries. There is no difference between the world and those people who have been serving God, he's saying. It will affect pastors, prophets, the self-claimed prophets, leaders of this world. Many people will lose their wealth. I've seen in the spiritual realm where, you know, these people have lost their wealth, walking with their heads down in shame because God is about to turn the table. God is about to do a wealth transfer from the evil, from the wicked to the poor, he's saying. I mentioned, um, I mentioned previously that I saw prophets as well losing their wealth because they have not pleased God. And these are prophets, self-claim prophets who are wealthy all over the world. God is about to remove their wealth, he is saying. I mentioned in a previous video, I went to a prophetic church that I visited and I didn't tell all of the story, but I went to a prophetic church and to visit. And every time I would visit the church, you know, I remember seeing the people praising the man of God rather than praising God. They were praising this man of God rather than praising God. They would honor him and proclaim that if it wasn't for him, they would not be there. And I would say in my heart, yes, you would. Yes, you would. God would provide someone else. You know, God would have sent someone else. He is not short of workers. But these people, to me, blatantly, publicly declare and worshipped and praised this man of God. And it was not, it was not corrected. It was not discouraged in the church. It was normal for them. And so from what I saw, my spirit became troubled at the fact that these people were praising the man of God. God says that he is a jealous God and you should give praise to no other. You should worship no other but him. And what I saw, as I've said, my spirit was so troubled. Then I saw, from what I saw, my heart was troubled and I thought to myself, you know, I will seek God on this. I do not want to judge this prophet, I thought, because prophets already have a difficult time. And so from what I saw, as I said, my spirit was troubled. Things didn't seem right from looking spiritually and in the physical. Things didn't appear right to me. And so I seek the Lord about it. I ask the Lord whether this prophet, this papa that they were worshipping, you know, whether he was of God. Though I could clearly see, but I wanted to say that I've heard it from the Lord himself. You know, I don't want to judge and say that this is what I've seen and this is what it is. And so I went to the Lord and the Lord showed me a vision where I saw two lions, two lions with crowns on their heads and they looked identical to each other. And the Lord spoke to me and he said, the one on the right is the kingdom of God. But he said, the one on the left is a kingdom of darkness. They looked exactly identical to the truth to the kingdom of God, but they are not of him. You know, and so God revealed it. He revealed to me what I knew already. 
but I just wanted to confirm. You know, the Lord told me these prophets, these people, cause a lot of people to disappear because they operate in the spiritual realm. They attack people. They do a lot of evil spiritually that we cannot see. The scripture tells us that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness, against spiritual wickedness in high places. And so these people are operating under this spirit, you know, in the spiritual realm. They are nicest, the nicest people, the holiest people here on earth in the physical, but their deeds are not right. They attack people in the spiritual realm. They they wage war against people. They come to you in the spiritual realm. I've had these people coming to me, these false prophets coming to me in the spiritual realm, warning me not to say anything. I've seen them. I've seen their, their wives warning me in the spiritual realm not to talk, you know, about them. But as I've said, God has chosen someone who he wants to talk about this. And if God wants me to talk about it, then I will. You know, I'm not afraid. But these people, you have to be careful, especially if you are not living right with Christ, because they will attack you in the spiritual realm. You will see your life begin to go down. You will see many things happening in your life and you will wonder, what is happening so these people will attack you in the spiritual realm but as i've said the lord shown me and he said these many people in the church do not know that this prophet are not of him they are there are mixture of these people in the church there are those who deliberately knows that this man of god is not of god and they continue to serve him because they are part of him. But he also said there are people who do not know that these are not of God. He's shown me also electric wires, black and white electric wires all tangled up together. You know, representing the people of God and the people of darkness, of the kingdom of darkness. Many people believe that they are serving God. A lot of them are young people. They believe that it is normal, it is right to serve the man of God rather than God. And so the Lord also told me that every time I visit this church, he has to send powerful protection for me. He said he has to send powerful protection for me every time I would visit this church. And so I decided when the Lord told me that, that I will no longer visit the church. I felt sad in my heart because there were people in that church who believed that they were working and serving God. You know, they didn't have a clue. Their eyes were blinded. They, they're under a spell that they will serve these people no matter what, even when they can see that the things are not right. They are under a spell and they cannot change their minds. They cannot, you know, stop worshipping and serving these people and being loyal to them. But I decided that when the Lord told me that I will no longer visit this church, though I did not want to leave people there, people of God there, who genuinely believe that they were serving God. But I thought, I know that God is going to deliver them somehow. I didn't know how, but I knew that God was going to deliver these people, you know, who were tangled up in these churches, serving false prophets and serving these leaders and people who are not serving God themselves. You know, so many things are happening in this world and we need to wake up as people of God and see what is happening. We are fighting a spiritual warfare, spiritual things that we cannot see with our natural eyes. You know, we are serving demons 
and we believe that we are serving God. And God is going to deal with everyone. It will fall on everyone, though they are not a part of it, but you are under the covering. You know, so I just want to warn you, I want to include this in this video for people to see and to understand the spiritual realm and what is happening. We cannot take things what we see at face value. The Lord told me not to look at what my eyes can see, but he told me to go within. You know, what we see is an illusion. What we see is not truth. People hide, people do things in the dark, in the spiritual realm to harm the people of God. And so God is going to take away their gods. He is about to take away their wealth. Every single person who are not serving him, whether they're claiming to be Christians, he will take away their wealth because their focus are not on him. This is what the Lord is saying. Their focus are not on him, even those who are not fake, even though those who are not false. They have not truly submitted to him. And so he will be removing the things in their lives that are more important than he is, which is their wealth. Okay, these are my few words for today. But before I go, I would like to say, if there's anyone who don't know Jesus as a personal savior, to do so before it's too late. Tomorrow is not promised to you. Tomorrow is not promised to any man and we could die in our sins at any time. There are those who were once with Christ, but they have now turned away from the faith. I'm encouraging you to return to the Lord, to seek him before it's too late. Before it's too late, we are living in the last days and we could die at any time. So receive the Lord now before it's too late. There are those who are still professing the faith, but the lifestyle that they live do not represent Christ. It does not reflect. It does not reflect Christ at all. Return to him. Seek him before it's too late. Thank you for listening. Take care. God bless you. Bye-bye.